Marjorie Maine, a famous actress, has left a lasting impression on the entertainment world with her extensive work. Whether it's a well-loved film or a role that's not as well-known, many people have a special fondness for her. Are there any interesting stories about her that catch your attention? Share your anecdotes and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we explore some funny, shocking, and even sad facts about this classic actor. Keep watching for more insights into her life and career. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this legendary actress? Join the conversation and share your thoughts. Marjorie Maine, a well-known actress, made a lasting impression in the film industry. Her performances were a mix of talent and charm that captured audiences around the world. Famous for her excellent acting skills, she has earned her spot among the greats of the silver screen. If you love movies, you should definitely watch hers. From timeless classics like Meet Me in St. Louis to the enjoyable The Harvey Girls, her work shows how versatile and deep she was as an actress. If you're new to her films, start with the Ma and Pot Kettle series for some humor and charm that will keep you entertained for hours. In The Women, she acts alongside a fantastic cast, giving another memorable performance. Throughout her career, she played a variety of characters effortlessly, each one brought to life with her unique style and grace. Even today, people of all ages still enjoy her movies. Marjorie Maine's impact on cinema is truly timeless, making an unforgettable mark on film history. Marjorie Maine's husband, Stanley Lefevre Krebs, was born on February 14, 1964, in Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. In The Women, the movie, Maine played the role of Lucy. This film was unique because all the roles, over 130 of them, were portrayed by women. Maine, alongside Phyllis Pava, Mary Cecil, and Marjorie Wood, originated her role in the play, which premiered on September 7, 1937. The play had a successful run on Broadway, totaling 666 performances at New York City's Ethel Barrymore Theater. Interestingly, the opening credits of the movie highlighted this achievement. Notably, during a fight scene where Rosalind Russell bit Paulette Goddard, there were no stunt doubles involved. Despite the resulting permanent scar, the actresses maintained their friendship. Maine's portrayal of Lucy and the women, the movie was crucial in her casting as Ma Kettle in the 1948 film The Egg, and I this marked the start of the Ma and Pa Kettle film series, which became one of Universal Pictures' consistently profitable franchises during the 1950s. These roles and the success of the Ma and Pa Kettle series solidified Maine's position in the entertainment industry. Marjorie Maine played Mrs. Martin in Dead End, which premiered in New York City. The play ran for 687 performances from October 1935 to June 1937. She transitioned from the stage to movies with this role alongside other actors from the play. In 1973, James Robert Parrish highlighted Maine's career in The Slapstick Queens. Stephen Silverman also profiled her in Funny Ladies, published in 1999. Marjorie Maine's journey from the stage to the screen is notable in the realm of entertainment. Her performance in Dead End marked the beginning of her successful career in movies. Her achievements were recognized in books by Parrish and Silverman. Marjorie Maine, famous for her unique roles in Hollywood during its golden age, had a peculiar habit that made her stand out. Even in the glamorous world of movies, she did something unusual involving her late husband, Stanley Krebs. After he died, she stayed connected to him in a special way. According to Debbie Reynolds' book about her life, Marjorie would often go to the MGM cafeteria, where many famous stars gathered. She brought her husband's ashes with her and would order food for him as if he were still alive, talking to him as if he were there. This act of love and devotion left a lasting impression on those who saw it. Marjorie's journey to Hollywood began in Franklin, Indiana, where she went to college. She worked hard and had a talent for playing characters that people could relate to. Her career, filled with memorable performances, is well documented in a book called Actresses of a Certain Character, 40 Familiar Hollywood Faces from the 30s to the 50s by Axel Nissen. This book explores her life and the many roles she played. Her unique habit and successful career in Hollywood have left a lasting impression on movie history. She was a woman of strong character, both on screen and off, who faced the challenges of her job with grace. Even after all these years, her work still resonates with audiences, showing her talent and the powerful emotions she brought to her roles. Remembering her reminds us of how genuine feelings and dedication can make a big difference, both in art and in life. In Meet Me in St. Louis, Katie, played by Marjorie Maine, plays a crucial role. 
After a tense confrontation between Lon and Rose, her character mysteriously disappears, adding a twist to the story. This disappearance becomes a crucial moment in the film, keeping the audience engaged in what happens next. Marjorie Maine's acting versatility shines in her role as Ma Kettle in the beloved Ma and Pa Kettle movies. Alongside Percy Kilbride as Pa Kettle, Maine brought charm and humor to the screen in a series of eight films. Their on-screen chemistry and comedic timing made the series a favorite part of movie history. Born into a family deeply connected to the Christian church in Elkhart, Indiana, Marjorie Maine's upbringing was influenced by her father, Reverend Samuel J. Tomlinson. His role as a pastor likely shaped her upbringing and may have contributed to the depth she brought to her various roles in film. Throughout her remarkable career, Maine's performances not only entertained audiences, but also made a lasting impression on cinema. Her ability to portray diverse characters showcased her talent and solidified her lasting influence on the silver screen. The impact she made through her work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by film enthusiasts worldwide. Marjorie Maine, known for her role as Ma Kettle in the Ma and Pa Kettle film series, had a longtime companion, actress Spring Byington. Despite her association with Universal International for the series, she was never under contract with them. Instead, she was loaned by Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. In her career, she appeared alongside Judy Garland three times. They shared the screen in Meet Me in St. Louis, The Harvey Girls, and Garland's final MGM film, Summerstock. Marjorie Maine's collaboration with Spring Byington and her work with Judy Garland are notable aspects of her career, showcasing her versatility and talent as an actress. She left a lasting impact on audiences through her memorable performances in these films. Marjorie Maine, best known for her role in The Egg and I in 1947 alongside Percy Kilbride, made her last on-screen appearance in two episodes of Wagon Train in 1958. Despite not appearing in many films later on, she remained connected to the industry. In 1974, she attended the premiere of That's Entertainment, joining colleagues at the post-premiere party. After their successful collaboration in The Egg and I, Maine and Percy Kilbride reunited for Feudin, Fussin, and a Fightin' in 1948, their only non-Ma and Pa Kettle movie. Marjorie Maine had unique habits like wearing white gloves and a surgical mask due to her fear of germs. Her cautious approach reflected her concern about contamination. Throughout her career, Maine made a lasting impression on the film industry, showcasing her talent and dedication. Her collaborations and memorable performances continued to be celebrated by audiences worldwide. Marjorie Maine appeared in seven films alongside Wallace Beery, such as Wyoming, Barnacle Bill, and The Bugle Sounds. Even after her husband Stanley passed away in 1935, she continued to converse with him, sometimes pausing scenes in movies. In Mrs. O'Malley and Mr. Malone, her co-star James Whitmore mentioned this unique habit during a TCM tribute to Maine. In Dark Command, Maine played Mrs. Roy Cantrell, despite being only seven years older than her on-screen son, Will Cantrell. These instances showcased Maine's dedication and professionalism, making her performances memorable. She would signal to the director when ready to continue, seamlessly resuming as if nothing occurred. This dedication contributed to her memorable performances throughout her career.